This is the Kermadec Island chain. They sit 1,000 kilometers northeast of New Zealand and are a natural paradise. Humpback whales apparently think so too. Biologists from the University of St. Andrews recently discovered something remarkable. The islands are a hotspot for whale songs. Migratory routes for whale populations living all over the South Pacific overlap at the Kermadex. Scientists there heard different kinds of songs, like this. We're a new channel. Subscribe if you want updates on scientific discoveries. The whales are not just singing for fun. Male humpback whales often sing to attract a mate. They also do it to interact with other males. The songs are fairly complex. The scientists have found the sounds are grouped into phrases that are embedded into larger themes. Think of it like a classical symphony where melodies intertwine together in a larger movement. What's more fascinating is humpback whale songs are constantly evolving. Typically, individual whale pods sing one song during each breeding season, but the tunes get shared when pods cross paths at places like the Kermadex. Scientists think the sharing of songs is a key component of humpback whale culture. Every few years, so-called cultural revolutions occur in the South Pacific where a new song rapidly spreads between different whale groups. A 2000 study on this phenomenon found all it took was a few foreign singers from the Indian Ocean to rapidly change the song sung by whales in the Pacific. The authors didn't hold back their surprise. Such a revolutionary change is unprecedented in animal cultural vocal traditions and suggests that novelty may stimulate change in humpback whale songs. Think about that for a second. Humpback whale culture is basically like Beatlemania in the 1960s. As far as we know, cultural revolutions like this are rare in the animal kingdom outside of humans and humpbacks. Most other species like to speak the same way to each other without change. The St. Andrews biologists even observed a mashup at the Kermadex. It was a song with themes from French Polynesia in the Central Pacific and Tonga 2,700 kilometers to the west. This suggests the two different whale pods were in the process of learning each other's songs when the scientists heard them. So just how intelligent is this species? In 2006, researchers examined the brain of an adult humpback whale. They compared it to the brains of bottlenose dolphin, beluga, killer, and sperm whales. It turns out the humpback's cerebral cortex, the area of the brain where thought processes occur, had what are called spindle cells in the same areas as humans. Spindle cells are still not well understood. It's thought they allow rapid communication between neurons across animals with large brains. They're also in some species of great apes and elephants. But they might also do more than that. John Allman, a neuroscientist at the California Institute of Technology, told Smithsonian Magazine he thinks spindle cells give us, and these select few animals, a greater ability to read emotionally charged situations. It would also allow us and other animals to make accurate, split-second judgments of character. This is particularly necessary in animal cultures that experience more regular changes, like those of humans and humpback whales. More research needs to be done. It's a young science. But it's interesting to realize, some things we thought were exclusive to humans are also happening in the ocean. Links to the studies are in the description.